Hi, this is Seppi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a Baltimore Oriole in watercolor. Before we start, if you like these instructional videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like my videos and hit the bell button so that you will be the first one to get notified when I release any of these lessons. Let's get started. I started by drawing the bird, paying attention to the shape of the body, the shape of the beak, and the proportions, the sizes. I started the painting using wet on wet technique. I used one inch uh, flat brush to wet the whole paper, and then I use Hansa yellow a little bit of cadmium orange uh, for the bird's chest and some purple for the bird's head. I mix my purple with some paints gray and then I added sap green, permanent rose, Russian green, ultramarine blue to my background. The wet on wet technique gives me this opportunity to blend different colors and be playful with my process. So I'm not that concerned to stay in between lines. And now that the paper is getting dry, I can start going around my bird, going around the blossoms, using some of the same colors that I mentioned earlier and working around those to show the shapes better. I dried the first layer, now I'm using a smaller size brush, some more permanent rose and cadmium orange for the chest of the bird, some more purple and paints gray for the head, not too intense though, using brush number two to go through the details, adding some texture, some more intensity. And now I'm using my brush number two and also number six to go the spaces in between my blossoms and leaves uh, as known as negative spaces with some sap green and ultramarine blue. And then I am using my number six round brush to add some more petals using permanent rose and magenta. I'm using Posca paint pen to add some white accents to the feathers of my bird and I'm using my black ink pen to add some dark accents to my branches, creating some textures. Adding some brown. For the brown I use bird umber. I wetted the whole branch and then I put my brown on the bottom of my branch to create a three-dimensional look and now my work is done. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. <music>